Welcome back. Uh, two septuagenarians, uh, one who won't give his age, and a 22-year-old bringing down the average age in the studio to about 50. Probably. I'm the junior. Or a bit. <laughs> I'm the apprentice. James Gregg joins us. He's only here because he's, he's got no Christmas lights to switch on. Oh, there tonight. Oh, he, was, he was doing have the you, fast. Have you ever done that? I've never done go. that. Never, ever. Never. We must have been working for 90-odd years between us, maybe a bit longer. And neither of us have ever switched on any Christmas job. Never, never been. And he's done a tough it. job. He's done it twice. Oh, there you go. Well, at least he's twice. It's tough. It's tough. It's a tough one, though. Is it? You know, counting down from ten. You know, it's difficult doing it backwards. <laughs> <laughs> this was at Farsley, was it? <laughs> Fars Fars you know, Farsley, Farsley, Leeds, yeah. Farsley Celtic, Frostle Nest. Yes, yeah. They won yeah. four 0 away the other night as well at Tamworth. <laughs> is oh, there, really? Is there anything this guy doesn't know? <laughs> oh when, no. When yeah. you do your spot, you'll be listening, and if you get anything wrong, I've made double sure. I've made double sure. Yeah. No mistakes tonight. Ray Matthew, he switched on Christmas lights. I no. I was invited, but I, I went away on holiday, so I couldn't. Oh, oh, he didn't do it. Oh, no, but, done it but I was invited. Yeah. That's the point. Isn't yeah, yeah, it? yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Uh, Maltby. Maltby. Maltby, mm. Maine. So yeah. you know, the fact that yeah. you weren't there to do it is immaterial. You That's have right. been asked to I do. Asked. Yeah, to that that good enough. Right. Yeah. Something we're not doing right, John. Um, you know, we're not as good as DIY. I'm not doing right. DIY. That I might get the button wrong. I might not press the right switch. Yeah, exactly. Right. Right. I'll spoil it for you. And if there's any kids out there who you know are gonna, you know, don't let it ruin it because it does ruin Christmas a bit. The button doesn't actually do anything. No. It's, they're on the phone because last night we had to stop halfway through the countdown and say, "Can you just hold it on a second? Did you? And then someone had to go backstage and make a phone call, uh, and then they had to do it. Ah, oh, trade secrets. Trade yeah, secrets. I know. <laughs> Matthews is with us. You'll know him. You'll, you'll have seen him everywhere on uh, Calendar, National News, um, I saw, I saw on BBC Look North. I saw him on Calendar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 75 marathons in 75 days, a distant memory. Now, all happened in the summer. We're going to talk to uh, Ray about the harder job of bringing the cash in because he's doing that for Newman School at Wickersley in Rotherham. Yeah, that's right. Yeah? But before we move on with John, and we're going to have his uh, rattle through of the 92 Football League clubs in Fantastic. no time at all. Can't this wait. is something I, I, I'm really looking forward to. Some of the wishes, I've had too many on Twitter to mention individually, so if I miss you out, it's, you know, it's not your fault or even mine, because there are too many. I've got the wrong piece of paper. John Stevenson. John went to Nepal with our team a I few years ago. Did. Fantastic. He says you're a fantastic, nice man, yeah? Oh, no, it was a Nepal. lovely trip. I'm sure they thought it was Manchester United Juniors who were going. <laughs> uh, it wasn't quite, but what a great trip I had. I met some right. great lads, and the goalkeeper went on to play for Brig Town. I remember him, and he's a lovely lad. You know, he sort of clung on to me a little bit on this trip. Yeah, and it was at the time that the been the uh, the royal family. There'd been a murder in the royal family, so it was a very right. tense tense atmosphere. But the, the, the Mr. and Mrs. Stevenson were yeah. great company. I remember it fondly. Photographic memories. He does, doesn't oh, he? Yeah, 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 exactly. Uh, Tim Pickford, big mate of uh, Michael Vaughan, sponsors Joe Root's bat. Yeah, okay, yeah. cricket. Yep. Um, he says John can still do the 92. <laughs> yeah, 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 he did right. it at Sheffield Cricket Lovers <laughs> Society earlier this oh, year. Oh, I've been Sheffield before okay. this year. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go. Great commentator, says Terry Maycock. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> Neil Kavanagh. Uh, oh, thoughts on Miller's plight. Well, we, we've covered that in part one. He's very optimistic. I did my first ever game on the Millers to give him a mention. Rotherham 4, Norwich 1, 1981. Ronnie Moore 2, Rodney Fern 1, John Seisman. Crowd? 8,704. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have a clue about that. You can be making it up there. Stuart White. Stuart is a football scout. Um, brilliant voice of football, says Stuart. Um, Macca, top man, brilliant commentator. Nigel Dean, good friend of mine, oh, works yeah. at Sky. Yeah, Nigel, you know, he used to work down in Southampton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lovely fella, very best wishes to you. Thank you, that's and nice. Vernon Grant, last yeah. but not least. Vernon... Um, Lives in Spain I, now. He does indeed, yes, he does. He lives in the Lecrin area of Spain. Big chef of Wednesday fan. Indeed he is, and he's asked not only to pass on great greetings to you, he, he actually said, uh, to make you blush, he said... Uh, uh, he's, he, John is in the top three of the oh. nicest, most professional men I've worked with. Must be all the wrong fellow. What's Twitter, by the way? It's great. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Thank you, you very much. Yeah. Those are really nice messages. He, he also says, get him to tell you the drummer story. Oh, you might yeah. have to ask him that off, off air. <laughs> yeah. It goes oh, it's on clean. all the time. No, it's very clean Can story. Can it? Go on then. Oh, very The drummer quickly. story. Go on. Yeah, no, very it? quickly what it was was Brian Butler was a great... Uh, 
friend and, and a good, uh, he, was a, he was a better reporter than he was a commentator and a wordsmith, he was a wordsmith. Yeah. But we were doing a commentary of Barcelona versus England, we have a Barcelona <laughs> fan with us tonight, uh, in the New <laughs> Comp Stadium as a yeah. run up to the 1980 Euros. And you've probably heard, matches in Spain where there's a big beating of a drum and yeah. there's a fella called Manolo who used to beat the drum. So <coughs> Brian's on commentary and Peter Jones and Dennis Law was our co-commentator. Yeah. And uh, all of us, I, I was the producer passing notes, you see, so I'll try and do this as very quickly as possible. And this drum, boom, boom, and the producer from London in my ears said, uh, you have to mention the drummer because it's that noise is coming through. So I wrote on a piece of paper, yeah. mention the drummer, and Brian Butler said, hey, it's uh, Tony Woodcock to Trevor Francis, shoot just over the crossbar, mention the drummer. <laughs> so, so I just read it yeah. straight off the <laughs> <notes. laughs> <laughs> He also made a mistake that night by saying that there was a big story about Laurie Cunningham, yeah. who was making his debut for England, but it had yeah. been, he was playing for Real Madrid at the time, agreed that he would only come on as a sub for 20 minutes, so he'd play for England but not get hurt. Yeah. Ron Greenwood had agreed that. Yes. And uh, <laughs> 10 minutes from the end, quarter of an hour, he's warming up on the touchline. So I wrote uh, a little note for Brian Butler saying, uh, substitution, uh, uh, Cunningham. And it's uh, a significant moment now. Laurie Cunningham's about to come on to make his debut for Spain. Spain. Yes. So I wrote <laughs> England. Really and he says, and of course, watching in the stands is Mike England, the Welsh manager. <laughs> 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 bad night. Oh, wow. That is, <laughs> that is, that is it? We've that all is had them. We've, oh. Honestly, we've all had them. Uh, just quickly, before we go to, to James, we're going to wrap everything else up. Ray, you, so an announcement to make, because I've seen an email. You showed me an email that yes. you've had. Yes. And this is so deserved. I mean, this guy, 75 marathons in 75 days. Unbelievable. British Citizens Award, um, oh, well. it's an, an annual award to a limited number of people and mm. yeah, I'm they've written to you. Absolutely honoured, I'm really, really proud to, uh, well, to be accepting this award. Yeah. We're going to be heading off down to the big city in uh, January 26th. Are you running it? Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll catch a train this time. You <laughs> could do, you could uh, easily. And, um, I'll be presented with a medal and obviously a certificate, uh, and it's and it's letters that I'm encouraged to use at the end of my Ray Matthews. So, so Ray Matthews BCA, BCA, yeah, British Citizen but, Award. Yeah, and it's hot off the press. Nobody knows about this apart from your wife no. and family. And that's right. Your, and us. Told his wife, yeah. And us. Yeah, yeah, she doesn't know. She doesn't know. know. She knows now. She, she knows now. Yeah. She'll be Congratulations, after sir. Thank yeah, you. Well done. So Thank well you. deserved. Well done. Yeah, Very deserved. Thank you. And since since you. Great feat. I feared for you as to the anticlimax and what you're going to do next and how you're going to cope without this pressure, without this. Well, joy, because you enjoyed the it joy. so much. Well, joy. I, I enjoyed felt... every marathon. Yeah. Amazing. There you were a lot it? of um, fantastic moments. Wish you were still doing it? Which, yeah, I do, actually. I, 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 I didn't want to laugh or cry at the end. I didn't want it to finish. I wasn't enjoying it that yeah. much. It became a way of life. It, it did exactly what I said on the tin, what I was going to do. Yeah. Um, and, it, and it became that much of my life that uh, I could have just carried on. How do you replace it? What's next? Well, replacing it has come with media attention. Yeah. I'm now asked to start marathons off. I'm now... Turn in, the lights on. Yeah, Christmas I'm now lights. To, yeah, <laughs> yeah turn you know Christmas that. lights yeah. on. I'm invited to, uh, to give talks. I'm just so even more busy. It's much, much easier running marathons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't do in this. And, yeah. 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 Next year. Well, and you've got a dinner coming it's up. It's 100 in, when I'm 100. That's yeah. what I've told everybody. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Um, wow. Can I book right. you now to, to appear? Yeah, you can. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ray, we'll come back to you in a minute, and John. Okay. John's got his party piece to do. You've got your party piece He has to indeed, do. yes. Not quite as impressive um, as John's by any means at all. Uh, they start off by talking about Sheffield United, who played their game in hand on Tuesday night. Now, a lot of Blades fans and the manager as well, and some of all the players as well, were looking forward to that game in hand and trying to leap above Bolton in the league table. Uh, well, they sort of wasted it, if you like. Not through performance. It was another dominant performance, but they lost 1-0, um, and they missed that chance, meaning that they remained third in the league table. 
table behind Scunthorpe and Bolton. And interestingly enough, they play against Bolton in the FA Cup the second round on Sunday. Uh, so that should be interesting, uh, particularly since Phil Parkinson, uh, the Bolton manager, was actually sat in the director's box watching the Blades lose on Tuesday night. So that was very interesting. Amongst a whole host of other people as well, uh, Kevin Davis, interestingly enough, Bolton yeah. legend, yes. was sat there wearing his Sheffield United yes. scarf in the box. Uh, Stuart McCall was in there, as was Danny Webber. There was a whole host of uh, people watching the Blades put in a good performance, but ultimately a result that they probably want to forget on Tuesday night. So that's all to look forward to on Sunday at 2 p.m. Uh, and Wednesday are in action as well um, at Hillsborough on Saturday, 3 p.m. kickoff, playing against Preston. Of course, the Owls now up to seventh after that impressive 2 0 win away at Molyneux last weekend. And they're looking probably to go on a little run of their own now. Uh, certainly with that January transfer window. I know Alan's touched on it in, you know, in your column this week, yes. haven't you? Well, um, I, yeah, I heard that uh, Sunderland are looking, have been looking pretty closely at Kieran Lee for a while now. Yeah. Good source within football, you never give your sources away. <laughs> People always doubt them. But, you know, with sources, John, you yes. get to know, you can grade them, can't you? And the information, when they come yes. from certain people that absolutely. you've dealt with for a long time, yes. you have to trust them, don't you? Oh, you have to go with absolutely. Them. I mean, I go back a long time. It was Leeds at that time when I was working at Radio Leeds and somebody tipped me off about Asa Hartford and the hole in the heart right. story. Yes. <coughs> and uh, I knew that it was correct because of the guy yeah. who told me. Yeah. If it come from just an ordinary fan, oh, I've heard that so and so. Yeah. You get them. I've seen so and so shopping in Marks and Spencers. You <laughs> yeah. know, what's he doing over here? Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, you don't trust those. You've at all. got to be very suspicious. But this was a guy that I've known for many, many years from within within football, yeah. and he was saying, uh, telling me that. Uh, I know, not surprisingly, because I think Kieran Lee's a, a, a very industrious player, can score goals. Uh, and, and why wouldn't you be looking at him if you were David Moyes, who's impressed well, with him? what I always but call it, a 7 out of 10, somebody who you know what you're going to get from Mr. Dependable, isn't it? And yeah. that's the thing, Owls as well, at the minute, the higher they are at the table, if they're second come January, which you are, want you people know... to admire your players, but it won't happen. I'll tell you for now that Dave Ponchensiri, the Wednesday chairman, will not part with anybody he wants to keep who's in that team. So I kind of put it up in my column today and then knocked it straight back down Great again. piece. <laughs> There's a great piece. That's of journalism. Yeah, and then <laughs> It gives you yeah. two days worth of yeah, story. Yeah. Absolutely. There's a great Pete McKee drawing as well with your club. Oh, so if, you have, if you haven't seen that yet in the Sheffield Telegraph, yeah. have a look. He's brilliant. He's yeah. vintage uh, Pete McKee. He certainly uh, is. Talk about our local football teams yeah. now. We've got Sheffield FC unbeaten in nine games in all competition. Uh, they play against Rugby Town at the weekend in the Evo Stick First Division. James Colliver appears to have got them playing some fantastic yeah. football. We're inviting him back in, you know. Absolutely, yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, whilst sort of tables have turned a little bit because Hallow FC, who usually we sort of gush over every week. We do, yeah. uh, they've lost two in a row now, both at home. Um, ended sort of that stunning run very abruptly. Sack the manager. Yeah, I'm sure they won't <laughs> be doing that. Uh, but then again, another tough test for them though this weekend because they play against top of the table, Peniston, um, away from home. Ryan Hindley will no doubt be looking for a bit of a reaction off his players yeah. um, heading into December. Uh, Sheffield Sharks, they're not in action this weekend. But I've got to mention uh, their captain, Mike Tuck, who played in the uh, Nick Matthews squash yes, um, he did. charity evening last Last Thursday, Which Alan and I were both yeah. there, um, and he actually played a game of squash, loads of warming up. I mean, he looked really tired, played again the next night, and the Sharks actually won. They beat the Plymouth Raiders at the English Institute of Sport. Great result for them. Certainly earned his uh, couple of weeks off now. Um, and ten goals, two wins last weekend for the Sheffield Steelers, champions of England, of course, and they've got a double derby weekend against the Notts Panthers <laughs> this weekend. So that will be fantastic. The yeah. arena is... Uh, uh, is, uh, is the game on Sunday so get your tickets for that and it'll be brilliant as well especially if you can win on Saturday because on Sunday um, the place will be rocking I guarantee you that and the last time out Sheffield Steelers 8 Nottingham Panthers 1 so yeah. um, I think the Panthers they'll be raring to go certainly I think in that one. Will. Yeah, re um, re revenge. So get yeah. your tickets that one will be a cracker and in Rugby Union we'll finish off with Sheffield Tigers playing against Tyndale at Dormall this weekend it's not been a very good season for them so far struggling with that step up into National Division 2 North um, and also, uh, but to be fair, mixed fortunes there because Sheffield Rugby Club in the league below and National Three North play against um, uh, who, who they're playing against. Oh, they're looking for their fourth win in a row against Bedford um, at Abbeydale Park this week. I was going to look to John to bail you out, yeah, because no, he would have yeah. known. Of he would have known. He Mr. Mr. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's my party <laughs> piece. <laughs> uh, just a quick one there. I learned something as Mike Tuck, was it? Yes, uh, yes, Mike Mike Tuck. Yeah. I, did, I did a women's under 17 World Cup recently, and there was a player for China. This is honestly true. Way too young, 
playing, <laughs> playing in an under, underage <laughs> tournament. <laughs> way too young. <laughs> you can't write it. You <laughs> can't make it up. No, you can't. James, thanks so much. <laughs> uh, brilliant. He covered a load of ground there mm. very, very quickly. Yeah. We're going to ask John to cover a load of ground very quickly in a moment. First, you were telling me last time, Ray, that you know it's a doddle, 75 marathons in 75 days. But bringing the cash in. Yeah. For Newman, the 75,000 that you're aiming to yeah. for Newman School at Rotherham and Wickersley has been a harder it job. Yeah. And to that end, you've got a dinner organised. That's right, yeah. yeah. Um, it's a black tie evening, um, and it's an evening of sort of Michael Parkinson type interview. I thought you were going to say he was going to be there. For no, we'll try. We tried to get hold of him, but apparently really? he's in Australia or he's out of country. Yeah. Um, it's at the um, Crown Hotel at Bawtry yeah. next Wednesday, next right. Wednesday evening. There are also still a few tickets available, uh, and if they, they can get hold of me by visiting my website, yeah. uh, and that's www.rwrr.co.uk. Yeah. And uh, they've been made more than welcome. It's going to be a special and, night. And also, Twitter writes, at Desert Run. Or just put Ray Matthews in, yeah. it'll take you to yeah. that, does it, Ron? All the details yeah. so you can contact Ray on there. And uh, still time to book for that, because it sounds a great evening. Next Wednesday at Bawtry. Yeah, uh, 7 o'clock o'clock. Excellent. I yeah. do support that, because this guy really... Come looking like how James Bond. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. How, how far have you got so far towards the 75? We're about 30. 30,000. That's yeah. a fantastic figure. Not anyway, enough. 30, no, enough. Points. And I won't stop now until we get the where I'm after. I do believe you. I uh, do believe you. And so the idea is that if 75 marathons in 75 days doesn't bring in 75,000, the next challenge is going to have to be mega. It mm -hmm. certainly is. So well, we're, we're, we're looking at that now. I'm thinking of 80 and 80 at yeah, age no, 80. Not yeah. enough. Not enough. Not enough. Okay. He, he makes us, <coughs> he, he puts us all to shame, John. He does. But there are some things that you do that none of us, well, I couldn't begin to contemplate. So now you've had all this time to prepare for to it. To prepare, well, I've been preparing every This second, is yeah. the 1980. Yeah, I'll be honest with everybody here. 1981 82, that was my first year at Yorkshire Television. Yeah. And that's when I first did this for Guinness Book of Records. <coughs> Excuse me, Norris McWhorter came into the studios and recorded it. And I always say, listen out for your team in case you don't think that I do everybody. All right, now, uh, Phil, through the glass there, can you put a clock on this, mate? Uh, just to, um, I'll give you a countdown of three. Two, one. Yeah, okay. we'll, we'll see how, how John performs. Yeah. It should be around 30 seconds or less. Round about. No, yeah. Yeah. Well, do you want me to give it a time? Do you want me to give it a time? Yeah, I'll, I'll yeah, give it yeah. a time. Yeah. Yeah. Give it no, time well. The official timekeeper's through the glass, <laughs> but we'll have another official time here. <laughs> OK. okay then, I, John. I haven't had a drink yet, no. <laughs> <laughs> I promise one after the show. Ready? Right, right, whenever you're ready. Three, two, one. Arsenal, Asheville, Birmingham, Brighton, Coventry, Everett, Richard, Leeds, Woodfield, Man City, Man United, Middlesbrough, Nottingham Forest, Notts County, Southern London, Stokes, Sunderland, Swansea, Tottenham, West Brom, Tottenham, Wolves, Bartley, Batten, Bolton, Cambridge, Cardiff, Charlton, Chelsea, Crystal Palace, Derby, Grimsville, Leicester, Luton, Newcastle, Norwich, Oldham, Warren, Cooper, Al, Rodham, Sheffield, Red, Shrewsbury, Watford, Wrexham, Brentford, Bristol, Bristol, Rose, Burley, Carl, Chester, Chesterfield, Doncaster, Fulham, Julian, Huddersfield, Lincoln, Millwall, Newport, Oxford, Plymouth, Walton, Westing, South East, Wyndham, Walton, Wimbledon, Accrington, Oldshot, Barnet, Blackpool, Bournemouth, Bradford, Brickle, Crew, Downing, Halifax, Hartlepool, Hereford, Magnuson, Mansfield, Northern, 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 Come on, New York. <laughs> fantastic <laughs> stuff. That is fantastic. <laughs> no, did you know to wow. Sheffield Wednesday and Sheffield United? Yeah, yeah, I'll listen out for them. What, what, what's slightly disgruntled is that Sheffield United are actually in Division 4 there. Uh, well, I know they were. <laughs> yeah. Keith yeah. Edwards, oh, yeah. Yeah. Steve Neville. <laughs> and I think you're as well. Bob 30.8 seconds. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm 20 odd years old. I'm 35 years older. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> slowing down, John. Well, well, it I'm won't do. I haven't had enough practice. Can I also say, you know, if I was a cricket fan and, you know, <laughs> There was you know, some of the county championship teams. I did that already, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm sure that you can do that as well, can't you? I've just done it. Oh, okay. yeah, I yeah, did yeah, it in yeah, three seconds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the, the year that I winced was when Kidderminster Harriers and Dagenham and Redbridge came in. Oh, yeah. well, I'm yeah. not going to change this every year. No, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> he decided to stick with 1981. Yeah, yeah. Really? Very, very wise. How we've only got four minutes left, incredibly. Okay. Right. How has the job changed in all this time and football and, 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 and your part within it changed? You just mentioned one word, Twitter. I mean, and things like that. That yeah. that has changed. And so as a commentator, I am now inundated with things that I have to be aware of, that I have to do, like I might have to read out messages, I might have to do Twitter messages. The commentary is just the same. You've still got eleven against eleven. Yeah. That sounds a cliche, I know. Yeah. But I have to be aware of social media now. Interactive is the word. 
words. Interactive is a very nice. Yeah, it yeah. is. But you get on a, uh, the other day, uh, well, I was on a plane, there's nothing unusual, in a cafe in Chicago, and I took a video, on, and of course everybody's doing the same. Everybody in the cafe was either on their phone or on a, an iPad, all yeah. doing so, something social media wise. Yeah. People walking around with headphones and nobody talks to one it's another not anymore. Good, is it? I, I don't think it's great at I'm all. I'm as addicted no. as anybody, and my wife is constantly nagging me about it, and she's yeah. absolutely right. I know somebody who went to a Lonely Hearts Club thing and he said he couldn't believe it because everybody there was on mobile phones. I thought I'd come to talk to somebody, you know, yeah. to yes. find a new partner. And yeah. I find yeah. it sad. That's how it's changed, Alan. And it's changed within dressing rooms because of that, because it's players changed. don't communicate. No, we, we've probably got every phone number. I used to have the phone yeah. number of just about every Premier league player years yeah. gone by and every manager certainly now i don't know a single premier league player you're not encouraged uh, they have a press conference and one player is brought and everybody yeah. as a result every newspaper prints the same story so yes. whereas at one time we might have bought the mail and the express and the mirror just to see the different stories yeah. it's all the same story now it is because yeah. it's just one person well, it's the same, same top yeah. line and for everything yeah. you know so but, it's not you know, a line out don't the best line yeah. and that's it that's how it's changed but but i still love it you still love yeah. it yeah. wouldn't do without it no. advice on getting in this is the perennial question that i get that you must get more than me how do i become a Broadcaster, journalist, commentator. It's hard, to, it's hard to give advice now. There's no substitute for hard work. But nowadays, people do have to knock on doors a bit more. But strangely, just yeah. uh, what I was saying about social media, there are um, chances and opportunities for people to get in at, at football clubs now, just yes. working on the net or working Absolutely. on websites and things like that. But they become... Uh, gamekeepers before they've learned how to oh, become yeah. poachers. That's I right. think you need to be a poacher first, ideally, to understand the psyche and the mentality of the journalist who's got. I the poached story. on the Shipley Times and Express for seven years, covering funerals and, and everything. Yeah. You know, at yeah. local council meetings. There's no substitute for that. But they want to come in. They want to be. Everybody wants to be a star now. I want yeah. to be a, a star. You know, yeah. uh, which is why there's so many reality shows and things like that. And I think people think that they're stars, and I think well, what they've done. What have they done? Well, they've sure become what stars. They've done. No. They've become stars for being on a reality yeah, show. Exactly. Kind of and we've never heard of them before. And we've <laughs> I'm, why have you not been? I'm, I'm, I'm hey, I don't want to go to the jungle. Have you ever <laughs> been invited to be on I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out no. of Here? And you, I'm, I'm a better dancer than Ed Balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, that's not me. <laughs> and would you? Would you? Yeah. I can see that you would. Yeah, probably would. Yeah, if it, if it came to it. I'm not sure about eating snakes. Not things, me, but, but, you, know, no, you, but you, would, you would have a go, wouldn't I'd you? I'd have a go because... Uh, I've had such a fantastic life, and I think, uh, you know, you enjoy, you wake up in yeah. the morning to enjoy life. Yes. But if it was something that was totally different, you think, well, why yes. not? Why not have uh -huh. a go? You know, that's what yeah. it's all about, is having a go. And it? it is, but it's it's hard work. It can be quite gruelling at times. If you, you can get into a spell of work where you've almost got too much, and the big dread is to, to turn it's anybody it's down, it. isn't it? Yeah, and to have nothing, because the day yeah. you wake up and you have nothing to look forward to, I, yeah. feel, I better go and do 75 marathons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Take, take 75 days off. Like yeah. He took 75 days off, no, no, didn't he? Really? Yeah. Oh, just a, 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 you know, a bit yeah. of fresh air for 75 days. The Forest yeah. Gump of Yorkshire. Yeah. 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 And the weather was fantastic. So. Oh well, you can't. It was really good. You still it's got the yeah. time. It's, yeah. it's a bit too hot at times, Ray. Surely. No. Yeah. No. no. Well, look, all good things come to an end, apart from John's career. Yeah, no, 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 that's a good one. No, 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 no. I have another 20 odd years to go. I want to be the yeah. first centenarian I commentator. I believe you. <laughs> yeah. and, and, uh, okay. and, I, and I hope I'm here to see it. Thank I, you very much. I'll, 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 I'll do Rotherham. And I'm inviting both of you yeah. back. Thank you, Rotherham. Rotherham. James, Rotherham. thanks very much. Yeah. Ray, thank you thank so you. much. And congratulations, pleasure. John. It's been an absolutely My fantastic pleasure. pleasure. Uh, if you missed any of it, it's repeated at 11 pm or it is on my YouTube channel this evening. I'll be tweeting about that, John. See you next week. Bye. Bye. Glad to know.